everyone and good afternoon. It's a wonderful Friday. It's beautiful and sunny. Um, I had some leftover flowers and things that I wanted to actually not waste. So I thought I'll make a little video. So today we're going to work with a beautiful white and you know muted mauvey colors and purpley colors um, color scheme. And we're working this beautiful glass container here that has a little silver insert. We've got our oasis anchored with some pot tape. We went all the way around the pot with this clear pot tape so you can't see too much of it but it actually has to anchor really well so we crisscrossed it all the way around um, twice so um, that's pretty much the tape that I've been using so it's a clear tape rather than the green one that you sometimes find and um, I've already started anchoring some of these um, sticks here and the sticks are beautiful cork wood that you can get at the markets occasionally um, it's a beautiful material very lightweight and it has a lovely texture and structure to it so um, I thought that would be a nice addition to this so um, I'm going to turn this around again because I've got, I'm going to add another stick or two to the other side so you can see how that um, will be done um, and for the anchoring I'm using an aluminium wire that you can get on, the, get on those reels and I've just cut uh, pieces of them and hooked them over to a nice fairly long hook and uh, that's pretty much it. So you could either insert those obviously into the base medium as you please, but you can also put them along the way on the container edge or onto the base medium here, for example, and you're pretty much just pinning these on with your um, prepared wire hooks. So you can just do that instead of inserting them so you're not wasting too much space. And you also have this beautiful um, elongated parallel line through the design there. And I can also insert through the top here. So if you were to, you know, place a little bit more base, a little bit of movement into it, you could also do a little bit of something through there and through the top. Now what I'm planning to do is a more of an asymmetrical elongation. So you can see that there's more strength in this side, a bit longer design here and a shorter area there. So it's going to be all a bit more of a one third to two third proportion overall. We've got pretty much our structure done now. And we're going to work within a little bit of foliage now. So we have some woolly bush here and I'm going to uh, feed that through those sticks and just go to the sides there with that woolly bush there. And just let that come out on that horizontal. So we're all working quite flat here, working more to a length rather than a height. So our proportion is definitely more horizontally um, balanced. Uh, putting a little bit more of something that I don't actually know the name of into here. Again, that's a garden um, shrubbery. I have not a clue what it is, but it looks very pretty and has a beautiful, again, textural feel to it. So I'm trying to group this a little bit as well so you can see the individual items better instead of placing them too sparsely. I'm going to work with them a little bit more on a spot in a bit of a stronger group. We also have some beautiful gum. That's one of my favorite things to work with. And we're going to just stretch that right out to the um, quite a long extension outwards there to get a nice um, bit of weight into this um, direction there. So it gives it a little bit of a, a bit more of a quirky feel to it. And we're also going to be working again into the opposite direction with that same product but obviously much shorter and again we're going to use more emphasis on this side so we're going to add more I'm probably going to just cut this down a little bit add a little bit more here and a little tiny bit more of that green of that foliage that leaf to this side so I think we're just placing mostly the foliages so we just get a little bit of a of a core structure and um, yeah, pretty much covering the base a little bit. So as you can see, we need to um, use quite a bit of greenway to hide the mechanics, this oasis base. And there we are. So we're just going to work with the shorter things on the sides here. So we're keeping it quite narrow. I'm not having much width there. So it will be very suited for a nice, long, slim table to go into like a like a long trestle table. And I've got some lovely gum nuts here, well let's get them in. And then we're going to go into some flowers. So 
Let's put the other one there. And we'll just use two instead of three. That's fine. I do also have some freesias. I'm going to bring them a little bit into length. Again, a little bit of a dynamic movement there with that active form. So I'll just keep them longer. Similar to that gum um, berry or gum nut, really. So there. And one to the opposite direction. So we'll try to work with them a little bit more sort of on the diagonal across. So we're balancing from here to the opposite diagonal side. And a little bit more of the greenery. And then I've got some disputs, and then that's pretty much the design. So there's a few different variations. We had some blues um, on the weekend. Um, we had some very nice blue um, sea holly. So we were working with something like this, which obviously also looks very beautiful in here. Can be happening, but I've just decided of doing a little bit more of the purpley colours. And another option that we were sort of that I was sort of thinking of maybe. You could use something like this in here as well. So that purpley tone of that orchid to go along with the whites and that beautiful mauve color of the rose. So you're repeating a bit of that color but in a much stronger um, color scheme there. So the spectrum is more of the deeper tones there as well. And then we're just working with a bit more white along the way. I'm just filling up a little bit more spaces with the disputs. The disputs pretty much my focal dominant area there in the middle, my focal point. So I'm just going to add that to it, to this side. I'm just going to show you that in a minute once it's turned. I'm just going to insert this there and just add a little bit more green ring to that side again. And we have a couple of carnations here to play with as well. And again, because they are such a passive form, they're going to go quite short. And just filling up a little bit more spaces and create a bit more impact that way as well. Using a bit more flower. And one more over that side. And they can just sit below everything else. And they're pretty much just nestling in, fitting into the, into the spaces. I might actually use some of this blue, just because I do have some um, spaces that can afford a little bit of that ritzy purpley blue coming through. I might place that there. And a couple of gum nuts here as well. And I'll turn it around and it's pretty much the end of it. I mean, you can always extend and have a little bit more material. But this is pretty much it in a quite short, compacty kind of version. So here we go. This is it. And turning around just to see those disputs, obviously looking slightly different from this end there. Um, hope you're enjoying the rest of your Wednesday, uh, your weekend. And um, thank you for watching. Thanks for paying attention. So I'll see you around. Bye.